Welcome in guys to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video. This is your host Just Call Me Tex and I'm back and we're getting ready to talk about my Kenny build. Now, it's a lot of different builds you can possibly do with Kenny. There's a lot of different ways you can go, but I'm getting ready to show you how I optimize Kenny on my team and what makes him work the way that I have him to work. Now, if you guys got a chance to see my stream or you can catch it at the end of the video. Some highlights from um, Match with Kenny. He absolutely destroys. He's a very, very, very good tune. And one I suggest if you are a person that purchase or pay um, in the game, then he is one that you definitely want to um, pick up because he's going to help your offensive team going forward. And he has some teammates um, that are coming. We already see Clementine and we know that um, Duck and Lily and Holly is coming too so um, we don't know what they're going to fully be able to do but if Kenny is this good I can probably imagine that some of these other ones are going to be good as well and that synergy as a Telltale Season 1 um, tune is going to be very good together so this is what I have for my Kenny build now as you can see Kenny is maxed at 680 he um also has a mythic fighter level of 720 so my mythic fighters is maxed yours will definitely vary but i only have him lb2 so he's at 1400 and not 1440 but he still slaps now let's go ahead and look at kenny's skills he has follow-up too okay once per turn when a specialist kills an enemy with an attack active skill signature move on adrenaline rush they'll receive bonus action this character gets 100 percent max ap so He's pretty much going to be, if he kills somebody, he's going to be rushing. All right. Now, these are the upgrades that I have on my Kenny. He's LB2. Everything's max because everything that he has plays into his kit. The um, A Flawed Man's Tail plays into the Telltale group. So when he is going off and he's hitting people, um, they won't ref uh, face any uh, absolute defense. Um, reduce dam reduce reflect damage and stuff like that to zero so that's going to be reduced um if you have as a telltale teammate in there so if clementine's in there and he hits somebody and you know let's say bide uh goes off he will reduce that bide damage to zero and let's say reflect goes off you know because for some reason he loves hitting the reflect tombs right and i just think that's with the ai how it works out because he knows that he reflects to zero but it seems like the AI doesn't know that his teammates don't have reflect to zero. I guess it's assuming he's working inside the Clementine and Telltale um, team. So whatever, he, he attacks them. So this is going to return that to zero. Now, agility, most of the damage tunes, um, the agility don't work as well. The reason why is because they have flat damage attacks. So the rushes that they have like gentlemen it's a flat damage attack so agility is not going to really play into his rush whereas with kenny though it's a lot different and why this is important when you're leveling him so when we go and look at kenny's rush he makes two attacks these are regular basic attacks of 400 percent damage right so what's going to happen is he's making these basic attacks so that attack is going to work for him this skill here that he has um the 10 percent increase in basic attacks because he's making a basic attack there um i know the language is a little quirky but this is what's taking place so his agility is going to work here um determination he's uh, resilient to some debilitating statuses if you have him lb3 you definitely get 40 percent, i think it is or 50 percent one of those so that's really good there um what helps him out is he also has weapon experts so he gets a stats boost from the weapon is 15 percent more effective than um what it normally would be on a tune so this basic a stat boost here um gives um 30 percent more effect so i'll show you what that is you're going to see this come up um, on the screen i'm just going to pull up my calculator and show you how this basic effect works on Kenny. Okay. So blue stacks here. So Kenny does, um, he has 48% um, damage. So he's going to have his the 48. Um, and let's say he has 30%. So he has 
So it's going to be plus one. I'm, I'm sorry, not plus, but it's going to be times. So it's 48 times the 1.30. So this is effectively going to make a weapon that Kim that, that Kenny normally uses. Let's say he, he would normally use this um, weapon at 48. That weapon is now going to have 62 0.4 as a boost so that's why it's important when you see these status effects another tune that has this is aaron as well too right so it's gonna boost up kenny's damage which is why he's slapping all over the place so that's what you have there with this um boosted status effect make the weapon uh stuff more uh useful on the character so all this plays into kenny kit now combat mods okay I went a little bit different. I do have three plat mods here, which is going to give him some bonus crit damage. Okay. We have the crit chance. Um, he's surrounded by 1535s. He really doesn't need crit chance, but here's the issue that I've been having. He hasn't been crit in the way that I think he should. He hasn't been crit in a way that I would desire him to crit and do a lot of damage. So um, this is what we have on him. I, I put the crit chance on him. Aragon mod if you went to war of champions um you was able to pick up the uh, crit mod i believe it was from war of champions or this came from um pulling for his weapon i think it came from pulling for his weapon so if you pull for his weapon you got the crit um paragon mod here crit damage and then he has this um attack mod here i gave him a paragon mod that i got from war of champions um i want him to uh, do attack versus reds because that seemed you know to be who he's coming up against now if you don't want red okay you can also do blue as well here too that works as well too so either one of those will work these are the combat mods that i have on him um if you don't i know some people don't have paragon mods i am very understanding of that so if you don't have paragon just put your highest attack highest crit damage mods on him now this is what i am talking about here you see this where this arrow is here plus 48 percent attack right and he has the arrow going up it means that the attack is going to be boosted based off of his kit so that's where that plus 30 percent is going to come in at we're going to go ahead and it's a, 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 a multiplier here so that's going to work out very well so instead of him doing 48 he's going to be literally doing 62 attack damage on top of what he's already doing and as you can see here my kenny is 47,968 attack absolute monster and this is the war of champion weapons um thank you walkers for designing this um because this is absolutely a nightmare weapon it's very good if you had a chance to get it pick it up um scopely if you bring it back around please we appreciate that you can be able to get one of these too for those who didn't get it um previously um and it's a weapon that you need to purchase but it's very good so attack versus debilitating seconds when attacking an enemy with a de debilitating effect gain um, plus 50 attack now why does this work on kenny remember kenny does basic attacks even on his rush his rush is a basic attack so this attack up versus debilitating status is going to work 1535 and this is what we have for kenny so the team that i'm currently running kenny in i'll go ahead and show you my team that i'm running him in okay this is one team that i'm using them in i have sam and tom kenny as you can see he's doing 171 Okay, damage we could talk about how this damage is applied and how does it work with multipliers and things of that nature i know all the math so we can definitely uh, look at that probably put out another video on that i have Lori and his team as well too and i have lady z lady z and sam and tom um is going to pretty much give the other entire team debilitating statuses trader will as well so trader gives confused lady z does two people that she will um um uh do the I, I, f I forgot the name of it right now i can't really um think of it it's uh days that's what it is days so she's gonna daze too sam and tom's gonna daze a line so that's pretty much gonna cover it you know and how you work it out Lori kills somebody kenny or she weakens him kenny goes off sends trader off and then it just becomes a wrecking crew from there because trader has sort of like a um a built-in cutthroat into his into his kit something similar to sam and tom if we go here to sam and tom skills here um this scorn is kind of built into traders kit as well so it works out very very well there so this is what you have here man this is my kenny build man 
thank you guys for watching hit that like subscribe notification bell thumbs up man if we get this video let's say the 50 likes as a matter of fact i'm gonna go ahead and drop my roo 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 roo, -roo. if you know you know because on the stream man i'm gonna drop my roo roo video so definitely man appreciate all the support it's your boy just call me texan peace